and has gotten into IIS, which is Information and Broadcasting Ministry. So it's actually a very proud moment for us. It has taken its valuable time and come to us. अपना इतना busy time निकाल के वो आए हैं हमारे पास to motivate students how to crack exams. And whatever your aspirations are, जो भी आपके doubts हैं, जो भी आपके issues हैं, जो आपको लगता है कि हम नहीं कर सकते हैं, right? वो सारे doubts आपके आज clear हो गए हैं. So do you think कि नहीं कर सकते अपन? We can do it. So you have live example in front of us. So if you have any questions, you can ask sir. He will be guiding you and he will be motivating you. Hello sir, I take it for you. I have one question. Uh, were you completely focused for UPSC or you were to doing some like other uh, degree also like in commerce field or science field or arts field? Uh, to answer this question, I just like to say that uh, I was working professional, I was a doctor, I was working with municipal corporation of Greater Mumbai. And uh, post COVID-19, I had uh, decided that I should work on a much larger scale. So I had switched to the civil services. But I was working and to say that I was working also and started preparing Saturday. But my focus was UPSC. Yes, sir. So, but my concern is like, you guys, like, as I'm doing a B engineering course, uh, <coughs> like, I'm not able to manage both the things. I'm doing my best for both things. It's, it's like, it's not able to, like, the result which I want, uh, guys, according to the efforts, is not coming. Like, I am disappointed by both. So, it's not like I'm not trying, I'm trying, but I need a way to see how I can approach that, how I can tackle this situation. Uh, See, I believe that uh, you should have a burning desire that I want to crack UPSC and that itself is a falling stone that if you have a burning desire, yeah. nobody can stop you from achieving uh, what you want to achieve. To answer your question that uh, you are not able to uh, justify or do, uh, like how, like how much you are expecting that uh, how many hours you should be putting into the studies for BE and it's like currently I have been 90% of my time for B because I have 4 years for that and since like for qualification, after qualification we are uh, qualified for uh, building UPS like after the age of 20 till that my B will get go and till that time what are my aim is my strategy is like I will be uh, uh, ready with the notes and stuff and such as would be clear and the time after completing my B that one year would be like I can say the Burning time more because everything is ready. I just have to go on. That. See, uh, to you, my advice. I have would have been at your place, but I would have been going as. Uh, see, uh, there are bit, you have something which is called as basic concepts uh, that you have to get from your NCRTs. Uh, nowadays people are not focusing on NCRTs, but uh, I believe that when I started preparing, I started with NCRTs only, 6 to 12, everything I read, like history, geography, uh, you know, 9 to 12 economics, because these are the things which you should be reading because we lose that touch, even though we have studied it, but the perspective which you develop uh, during your UPSC preparation, that is entirely different. For example, uh, in history, we always read uh, Battle of Panipat, the first battle, second battle, third battle. Uh, but the question should come to our mind that why so many battles in the Panipat only? There are, uh, India has a very vast land and why the so many important battles, so as to quote, uh, they happened at Panipat itself. And that also happened to be questioned uh, in the UPSC. So, uh, I believe that you have to focus on. Like, uh, you start your basics, focus on your basics. And apart from basics, certain things uh, you can focus on, like uh, listening to debates on the Sansar TV, that's one thing you can do. Uh, the second thing is newspaper. Pick up one newspaper from the national, any national newspaper, uh, be it the Hindu or the Indian Express. Uh, certain things you have to read it on. So if you continue to read it on, then you will have a comprehensive understanding of the uh, India as a whole. So if you have that understanding, I think it is not very difficult to crack in exam. Yes, as you give the guidance about the NCRTs and all the things, I have started like, I have started start my questions from June. So it's like, but sometimes like, I feel key is I get very low because of the burden and pressure because uh, you have also passed from that time and you were working professional and you cracked in the first time. So it's like, uh, get motivation from you because I thought that you would be also a student of some brand but as you told you are working professional in that COVID-19 that was like great thing and will try my best efforts again and work on my some strategies and but the guidelines which you gave 
have already caught it. That's very nice to hear. Uh, but I think we were saying that feeding low, it's part and parcel of journey. Uh, the one thing which differentiates uh, UPS exams, or that matter, uh, any particular exam from the, this uh, this exam, or the MPSC, so as to say, uh, because here you're not applying for to getting into any colleges. It is uh, getting into a particular position where you are able to administer a district or one particular task which is given to you in a larger capacity. So, uh, here it's the journey is so long that the exam itself is a one year journey. Like your prelims are there, then you have mains examination, which is uh, approximately three months uh, to three and a half months after the prelims. And after the mains exam, approximately three and three and a half months for the interview. So, that exam itself is very long. So, you are bound to feel low, but uh, I believe that. We must have heard the quote of from uh, Swami Vivekananda. If, if you have a goal and uh, if you cannot run towards your goal, at least walk towards your goal. If you can't walk towards your goal, at least try calling it. Don't at least stop. Keep going for yeah. Yes. Even if you are giving, someday it might happen that uh, out of uh, energy, out of uh, say you uh, study for 10 hours, the other day you feel so low that you don't want to read a page. Yes. But uh, there are people who are reading 10 hours a day that particular time. So it's about competition. You are competing with 10 lakhs or people. So one thing you should be keeping in mind that don't stop. At least do something. At least one hour that has to come from you. So irrespective of the anything, your priority should be set. That's all. Thank you so much. See the thing is that uh, there is one saying that if you ask for a many, uh, if you ask once and you can be a fool once, but if you don't ask, then you will be a fool for lifetime. This is irrespective of this opportunity or any other opportunity. So, if, if whatever doubt you have, any silly doubt, like feel that okay, this might be silly doubt, people will laugh at me, but believe me, that will help you a lot. Why to choose UPC, IS only? Why not depends for any other service? Uh, that is personal choice again. Your temperament should be suited to it. There are many opportunities. In also you can try. Uh, at entry level, there is UPC, uh, NDA examination, National Defense Academy. It's also for, it's a great opportunity to be in uh, defense at an early age and also at very higher ranking. If, if you have the temperature, you can try for that. There's nothing wrong. If you want to ask me why I did not choose it, because it's not in good temperament. Uh, very good afternoon, sir. My name is Sanjana. Uh, first of all, Jai Hind, sir. I'm excited to see you So, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, sir. 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 And my question is in Marathi, sir. Are you Marathi? Yes. Yeah, right. yeah. Okay. So, my question is, sir, that you have attempted to do the first time attempt to do the UPSC. So, my mind is actually, you have said that we are an IAS officer. It's a positive thing. So, when you have in front of ex-ISS, when you have an interview, what is the impact of your interview? What is the impact of your interview? ठीक है ना ये जो एग्जाम आते हैं ना तो चुम्बन इट्स नॉट ओनली अबाउट इंटरव्यू इंटरव्यू कैरीज वेटेज जब आप आप 275 मार्क्स इंटरव्यू से वेटेज 275 मार्क्स है एंड विजय रिटर एग्जाम ये नेशनल आते हैं दैट इज कैरी 1750 मार्क्स 1750 सो दैट हैड्स लॉट ऑफ एंड आई थिंक इंटरव्यू सो बट जर then you have to be very honest, whatever you have done, because you cannot fool the people who are sitting across the table. They are about 65 years of age and they are into administration for a very long period of time. Like you have been born at that time, they must have entered into services. Be honest, be pragmatic. If you have a logical answer, then that is all matters. Sir, I have a question. If you have a question, 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 then you have a question, if you have a question, if you have a question, if you have a question, 
की तो मला फॉलो करायचा आहे जसं माझा छंद आहे की लाईक एक एक्झाम्पल देते की मला डान्सिंग आवडतं की मी ते करू शकते की फक्त मला चोवीस तास मी आयस बनणार तर मला कामच करावं लागेल असं काय
यू आर लॉट ऑफ प्रेशर यू आर वन ट्वेंटी मिनट्स उसमें भी पेपर में मार्किंग करना रहता है पीपल आर दिस थिंग एंड बिलीव भी अनादर थिंग इज दैट लाइक यू आर सिटिंग इन द ए सी कम्फर्टेबल लाइक यू विल बी गिव इन द एग्जामिनेशन वेर यू समाइम्स यून यू वोट इवन हैव अ फैन सो यू हैव टू एडजस्ट टू दैट सिचुएशन ऑल्सो सो वहाँ पे ये करना है तो यू एडजस्ट विथ योर दिस थिंग so my uh, learning from my bl- blunders would be like learn from your mistakes and the su- second thing would be maintain a high eq emotional con- quotient because sometimes you see the paper and you are very like happy are ye to aata hai maine sab padha yahi hai but he wouldn't give you just like that there might be some twists and turns be aware of the landmines look at this seemingly simple questions can uh, make or break because it's a race one question can make a lot of difference if you are uh, correcting one question it's about 2 plus if you are mistaking one one question it's minus 2.66 so that is very much again thing my advice would be so prelim specific would be just devise your own strategy pyq are must the like class 10 years if you can go back to the like right from the starting of this thing 75 80 That's also okay, not a problem. But at least from 2013, make sure that you read all the previous questions. Read many of the themes. Another area people would demarcate is this is prelim specific, this is main specific. I, I believe that whatever uh, knowledge you gain in the mains, the mains syllabus, that will be applicable to prelims also. That you will able to eliminate the questions, solve the questions. And one more thing. Yeah. Uh, if your wish comes true, I mean, uh, any one changes you would like to bring in civil services reforms? There are many committees which are already formed. The committee is like the past one committee. Yeah. According to them, any one change? So I believe uh, one thing if uh, change, if you ask me, like I would specifically say that limit the number of attempts to three only, and. <laughs> they should be removing the cap on the age like yes. the person who is attempt who is wanting to try the civil service at 40 he should be able to get it the person who is like uh, 50 also he wants to get it he should get it. he should be getting it the thing is that they should be limiting the number of attempts because uh, this is like becoming a vicious cycle people are getting into the uh, wanting to be a civil servant they are not getting like six attempts seven six seven attempts then you will like, uh, a large part of your life is Uh, God, if you're not working all this. Time. Thank you. So it's an honor uh, yeah, talking to you. Thank pleasure you so much for your time. Thank, Thank you. Sir, optional subject ke baare mein agar aap kuch batana chahoge ki bachon ne kaun sa optional subject choose karna chahiye? Unke degree ke basis ke upar jo stream un logon ne liya hai ya fir unko jo subject acha lagta hai unke upar agar. See, there's a. Civil service is the like famous strategy, double O, double E strategy. Okay. Optional. There are two papers of optional. Everybody knows that. Yes. Yes. That is strategy called as double O, double E. There's two optional papers. It carries weight of 500 marks. Yes. And another paper is essay and ethics. So these are the four papers where you can score the maximum marks. Because irrespective of your uh, study, there will not be much of a difference between GS one, two, and three papers. The all difference. The major difference comes in these four papers, the, both the optional papers, the essay papers, and ethics paper. In it, uh, essay paper, someone can score one, one thirty-five, one forty. Someone can score like ninety. So that fifty mark difference is very difficult to cover. GS papers, it will be something around five ten, five ten marks. But these four papers can make a lot of it. So it's advisable that optional you choose should be very very wide. So when I started preparing, I had uh, very limited knowledge about optionals. But I chose the optional depending upon the fact that what subject would help me in GS preparation. So that was the first my first criteria. <coughs> so there are certain subjects which can help you definitely with GS papers. So some optionals like public administration, it was my optional. Uh, then there are political science, <coughs> international relations, that is very hot. PSIR. And there are a couple of optionals like anthropology. And the people also take literature also. So those are from literature background. They can also think about that. But whatever optional you choose, you stick to it and you try improving uh, upon it. There are rumors in the market that this option is not working. So these are the 
already uh, rumor mongering, so you don't pay attention to that. You choose the subjects based upon your own interest that I would suggest. And the second thing, these parameters, like it should be helping in uh, your general studies preparation and it should interest you, that's the main thing, because it should not happen that you are trying to get into the shoes and you are not being able to do justice to it. Because once you uh, choose the optional, it is very difficult to change it later on, because you have to make it sure that you feel it in the optional, uh, sorry, the form itself before the prelims. And once you are into that cycle, then it's very difficult to change the option. And it's not like that particular optional will do very well, particular optional will be slashed. But every, if you go down to the website of UPSC and check the previous uh, reports of UPSC, so every optional which is there, it's about the per people getting into the civil services is about 10%, 8 to 10%. Per person from political science also, like suppose there are 100 people, 10 people will get into civil services. So if there is public administration, 8 to 9%. Percentage people will get into civil service. So its performance is fairly equal, if not uh, very good. So, but optional, once you choose, it should be like you think 10 times before choosing the optional, but once you choose, give justice to it. See, regarding the answer, I think uh, first thing that there are uh, market strategies, people will say that start writing the answers from the first day itself. But I believe, uh, suppose you read something and then you, you have to reproduce it, right? So if you read something and you reproduce it, the memory is very fresh. If you read some topic in the paper, the memory is very fresh. Your quality of answer will definitely fail. But the, uh, it's not about memorizing exam. They will not ask you, suppose you read some news, like uh, for 26 January Republic Day, who was the invitee, who was the guest? Yes. Uh, LCC from Egyptian Pacific yes. yes. Question will not be that, but you can use that in bilateral relationships, like how the India and Egypt relationships are growing. Okay. So that goes back from the uh, earlier days when the non-aligned movement was formed in 1950s, 60s. So we have to start from there. If there is any background to it, so it has to be a holistic picture. Okay. That is one thing. The second thing is that you have to read a certain sizable chunk of your syllabus. Then you will be able to do justice to the uh, your uh, question. Uh, the thing is that you have to write 20 questions, 10, 10 markers, 10, 15 markers, so that about 20 questions within the stipulated time of 180 minutes. So for a 10 marker, it comes about seven and a half minutes, and for uh, 15 markers, you have to allocate time. It's 10, uh, like 11 minutes. So that 11 minutes, you have to fill three pages. I believe 15 markers. So that one is speed, so once you are writing with that speed, you won't be able to uh, have a very good handwriting. Okay. But you have the handwriting should be legible, so that's one aspect. Your speed, your handwriting, it should be legible, okay? And the presentation part. So these are the three parts apart from your content. Content is what you are writing and how you are writing. Okay. So one is speed, one is your legibility, the third is your way of presentation. So for the video presentation, I would suggest you read top of like in, uh, if you go to the net, you Google it out, uh, there are uh, topless copies are out there. Okay, so you just try and see how they are writing. The language should be very, very simple. It's not a flowery language, it's very, very simple language. If you can write in points, it's well and good. And then the diagrams. Okay. So you see the innovative ways you can produce the diagrams. Okay. Because how we are trained till now, till 12th or 12th graduation, whatever diagram is there in the paper, uh, in the your textbook, that is only we have to reproduce. We are not thinking about how to create a diagram. So that is one aspect you have to think about how to create a diagram. Another thing is that sometimes it may happen that you are running short of time. Okay? So you have to innovate or you have to uh, fit in your content into the Venn diagram sort of thing or that arrow diagram. So you try to uh, visualize how you can fit the content into it so that you do not miss on the content because what we are writing, we are writing the entire sentence most of the sentence is ease, was, off, there, there so these are the things they are not looking for it so the content or ad, what if there is an ad, if there is an article, if there is a data, if there is GDP suppose it is 3.47 trillion dollars so these are the things they are looking for so 
try innovative methods that you can fit in the content within the stipulated time period. So for that, I would suggest go for the topless copies. Some people write very good answers. For the essays, that is very good. Uh, okay. Another thing is that uh, everybody says ki read newspaper, read newspaper. But we don't understand ki why to read newspaper, that is first thing. Because there are compilations, Vision IS, everybody reads that, Vision 365 and Vision PT. Then why to read newspapers? Because current affairs is, most of the thing is correct. And it's not like that, suppose you read a news today, like 10 days, by, 10 days after 10 days you will not remember what is the news, is, right? It's impossible for a human mind to remember everything as it is we read. But the thing is that the uh, language is, is used in the newspaper. Sometimes you have to pick the lines. Sometimes there are anecdotes. Like suppose there was some issue uh, in Kerala, one minister or one party leader, he burnt, he burnt some uh, GR or something. So it's not the first time it happened. So the anecdote was that there are few years back, same thing happened and they burned some pages of constitution, something like that. So you pick up those anecdotes, those lines from the uh, newspaper and then you can try and fit, uh, see where it can fit into your answer. Because your answer has to be, uh, because everybody will write the same content. You will be reading Lakshmikant, she will be reading Lakshmikant, this guy will be reading Lakshmikant. So what differentiates your answer, differentiates your answer from there will fetch you marks. So these are the main things apart from your content. The content you have to read, that's not a Time uh, adding more of a data. If it is a quality, quality paper, try incorporating articles of the constitution. If there is any recent Supreme Court guidelines, if there is any recent Supreme Court case which has uh, inferred different meaning to that particular article. For example, Article 21, it has been uh, wider in scope from time and again uh, through various Supreme Court judgments. So you have to put that. Okay. I believe I. Could answer your question? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. So one more, it was a very important question. Some people here ask that IAS officer to become a day, we have to study in a day. This is impossible. There are a lot of questions here. We will not be able to do this. We have only 50% of the people in the world. We are not smart. My friends are smart. We have a lot of questions here. See, the first thing is that if you are a budding designer, it is a BIAS officer to crack any exam. That's the only thing you need, apart from the hard work. You don't have to be like, uh, this, our education system is such that the first day, first day of the exam, we can that well such that. It's entirely different after that. It's entirely different domain. How do you, uh, like it's not about your smartness. It's about how consistent you are with your efforts. You are, uh, consistent in your efforts, mein. so nothing, no one is going to stop you. Whatever you can do, you will be getting it. But the only thing is that it's about time. It's not like that you, today you put in efforts and tomorrow you should be able to make it. It's a long and hard journey. You have to be very consistent and perseverance about it. And it's not about uh, you have to put 10 hours a day in like into to tell you frankly, I was a working professional. So I was a nodal person for the COVID-19. We all must have faced the wrath of second wave COVID-19. So I was a nodal person for the COVID-19. So apart from that, I was uh, expecting uh, my child also. My child was uh, born in like, <coughs> like two months before the main exam. So it's nothing that you have to put certain number of hours. But whatever amount you are putting, make sure that you are putting it for yourself. If people are going to the library, they will open the same page and by the end of the day also they will be at the same page. Should not happen like that. Don't do it for showing anybody. That my brother is saying that I am not going to study, I am not going to study, I am not going to study. It should not happen. It should be true to yourself. Even if you put four hours a day, that's good. Good enough. But that more, make sure that four hours, like the quality is such to be there. There should not be any compromise in quality. Make yourself targets, and it's uh, the unique thing about this exam. It's it's like tailor made. Your effort should be tailor made. It's not one size fits all approach. You have to devise your own strategy. Like somebody can uh, read ten pages in maybe one hour. Somebody will take three hours to read the ten pages. But make sure that you are reading that ten pages. 
It doesn't matter once you are reading in one hour or three hours. So, while preparing for your UPSC examination, what kind of changes you feel in yourself? Like what you used to think earlier, and while reading the books, while preparing for it, <coughs> what you think? It, what changed your mind? Like in the way perspective of anything for the other person or for your family or for your children? What do you think? So the first difference uh, one can notice is like it entirely changes your perspective. If you are into the studying for the UPSC semester, so that's why I believe that at least once everybody should try their hands at UPSC because it's the one examination where it can change your entire perspective. Uh, like till now, like uh, we have a difference uh, opinion about merit, right? Once those who get into top and those people who are doing extremely well, that is our definition of merit. But when you try for the civil services, your eyes are wide open. You start observing things. Uh, like how many of us are like very much enthusiastic about uh, walking over the bridge and crossing it? We still think that like okay, just cross it. Train is not coming. But when you start preparing, this thing is that government has put a lot of money into uh, creating a war bridge, right? So we should be using it and there is a purpose for it. So like this small, small changes you will uh, try incorporating or it naturally come to you. So again, if you are arguing with someone or if you are like talking to someone, that maturity also comes in. You always talk about numbers because when you argue with someone, it's not like hollow arguments. Like no, just because it is my opinion, it should be right. That is always our attitude. If it is my opinion because I have formed it or I have uh, come from somewhere, somewhere or I have studied something, that is my opinion. It, should, it is sacrosanct. Earlier is like our thing. But once you start preparing and once you are into the it, think, no, no, it is my opinion, but it is not the only opinion. There can be other sides to it also. So these are the small things which you can. One more question. Sure. Hindi or Marathi, whatever. So, like GS paper 4 is an ethics subject. We have to study ethics. Do you feel that if you have studied ethics, you will follow the ethics within any work. So, this is not the case. Or if you have to study the ethics, you will follow the ethics within any work. Do you feel that if you have to study the ethics, you will follow the ethics? people who are getting into civil services. So they are like one four feet above the ground. It's not like that. Civil servants are, there is a meaning behind servant, between servant and right? So, and that was the pur uh, exact purpose of bringing this value and this thing into the syllabus of UPS. So that at least the beginning of service, you understand that, okay, these are the things which uh, we are expected to do. And we follow that most of the time. There are some people who don't follow it, but then they get punished for it also. Okay, but just say I read newspaper or हमारे professor ने भी बताया था there was an IAS officer or IAS IPS he was some reputed IAS officer maybe it was a Gujarat का case कि मतलब some unethical was going between the parties and उन्होंने उस चीज पे action लिया and he proved that thing कि इन्होंने गलत किया है I'm not taking the party's name and all but अब ऐसा हो गया कि उनके position को like he is an IAS officer means उन्होंने उतनी struggle की अपनी life में उस position को पाने के लिए तो उनको भी jail में more volume sorry कि अभी उनको जेल में डाल दिया है लाइक क्योंकि उन्होंने एथिकली सब चीज को फॉलो किया तो एथिक्स कहाँ दिख रहे हैं कि अगर आप पॉलिटिकल पार्टी से बिलोंग कर रहे हो अगर हम आईएएस ऑफिसर बन रहे हैं तो पीआर प्रेशर तो रहता ही है ना पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज का भी लोगों का रहता है हमारे ऊपर एंड देन morals, values, people know all of us, but I don't find that when things are practically happening, why don't they show those things? See, that's the one way of looking at it. Let me try to tell you like this. When India was independent, India became independent in 1947. So, till about 1967, we were importing foods. 
like we were a food importer, net food importer. Our uh, condition was like uh, ship to mouth, they used to call it us. Because whenever uh, we, used, we uh, in order for us to fill our bellies, we had to get food from USA. That is TL480 program. Okay. So now uh, we are in 2023. We are net exporter of food. That's one thing. Second thing, uh, if you see the education, we were having very few uh, education institutes, not reputed in. So coming to the 2023, everybody like our literacy rate is 75%. That was 2011. It must be around 80% now. So that time the literacy rate was 20%. So do you think this change would have been able to happen if it wouldn't have been for a uh, moral ethics values? It would have been, but okay, guys. for okay. 10 people... about preparation, let's not get into the negativity. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, okay. but let me answer to the lady. But see, if you are working in government, or for that matter, anywhere you are working, you should work because you are an individual. Because you follow something, if you believe something, you value something. It's not about uh, what government is doing or what uh, political parties are doing. That's okay, they'll do it. But can you resist the pressure? If you are able to resist the pressure, you will leave a mark. Okay? So people sorry. don't remember, no, it's okay. No, no, sorry. Pe people don't remember thousand names, but people remember Mahatma Gandhi yeah, because it's true. Yes. Sir, it's not about negativity, it's about what you mm -hmm. think. No, no, it's not negativity. I never said that. unless you want to do it. Yeah. You have to pay the price, but it's okay. ultimately it's, you know, at the end of the day, you should feel happy about yourself, that I could resist myself, that I could resist to the people of power. It's nothing wrong. People get transferred like 56 times. So, it's nothing wrong in it. You can stand for yourself. And there are, uh, mind it, there are people who stand firmly, and that is why the country is running and we are the uh, fifth largest economy. That yeah. is why people are working behind the curtains. Yes. They don't seek uh, this thing. There are people who uh, fall prey to the bribery's and all. Yes. And they fall prey to this thing. But the country is running because of the people. You uh, remember the name of T.N. Cheshire? <coughs> Before him, um, like, I believe there were very few people, very few people who could comment on the election commission of India, and he is one person. After that, like election commission of India has established itself as a very uh, reputed institution. It's a constitutional institution, but the person is like he made the institution stand apart. Thank you so, so much. So just don't get into services just because you want to be a part of you know you want to uh, get into the. Elite club. Get into the service with the motivation of to serve the public. It's, it's not the job which will give you a uh, lot of money, which will give you a lot of uh, you know paraphernalia associated with it. Don't go for it. Go only for it so that you can make a difference. You can make a huge difference. You know, there are people like I'll tell you an example. Uh, have you heard of the generic drugs? Yes. That is very popular now. In 2010, yes, yes. I believe. There it was an initiative of an IAS officer. We were exporting it to the African countries and other countries, but they were not very popular in India. But this guy is one IAS officer. He made sure that it was very popular in Rajasthan. He was doctor itself, so a bit of a deal. So you can make a difference. Come to the services or any for that matter, whenever you're leaving, you should be assigning example of yourself because you are unique. You must have heard there is no one, but you are the unique one. Yes. If you have that feeling, then only you can make a difference. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes. 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 Yes.
छह घंटे में पढ़ सकते हो उतना वेल एंड गुड चार घंटे में पढ़ सकते हैं वेल एंड गुड क्योंकि इसमें सबका अलग अलग तरीका है पढ़ने का ठीक है किसी को एक बार में पढ़ के चीज़ें याद हो जाती है किसी को दस बार पढ़ेंगे तो भी फिर नहीं हो जाती बट इट्स नॉट एंटायरली कि दस घंटा पढ़ोगे तो ही आई बनोगे और कैसे क्रैक करोगे माई पास्ट वन थिंग आई वुड लाइक टू इज दैट बिफोर एंटर लाइक बिफोर वर्किंग एन एवरी आई कूड है Try for civil service that skipped my mind. I did not uh, like wish to be associated with it, but later on I realized it. Very much later part of it. Uh, Sorry, I didn't get your question. Yeah, you have to ask. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what was the most difficult part of your career? Uh, what was the most difficult part of your career? Uh, what was the most difficult part of your career? Uh, what was the most difficult part of your career? Uh, what was the most difficult part of your career? अच्छा माई एजुकेशन बैकग्राउंड है पास एम बी बी एस फ्रॉम ग्रैंड मेडिकल कॉलेज मैन आई टेक सम कपल ऑफ पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट कोर्सेज मैन आज मैन प्रोफेशनल एफिशियंसी लाइक पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट डिप्लोमा इन एमरजेंसी मेडिसिन आई कम्पिटेड डिप्लोमा इन हॉस्पिटल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑल्सो आई वर्क इन यू ए फॉर अबाउट टू एंड हाफ ईयर्स विथ बिल्डिंग कंपनी आई वॉज वर्किंग विथ जेट एयरवेज ऑल्सो फॉर अ ब्रीक पीरियड ऑफ टाइम and then since last seven and a half years I was working with municipal corporation the medical officer so when it was covid 19 it was a devastating situation for all of us like most of us so that is the time when i saw one picture in the newspaper that shook my mind actually it is one uh, you all all of us are know knowing about that uh, migrant labor crisis crisis yeah. Yeah. so there was one picture in the newspaper that uh, a baby about 1 year old and they are just uh, putting it in the thing a big truck is there and they are so that shake my mind means uh, even at this position what i can do for society can i do something that will prevent from this happening this so that was the one turning point and i thought that i should do something on a larger scale where i can cater to the need of society so that what was my motivation and to all those aspiring to become a civil servant i urge you to that sincerely consider one thing that why you want to join civil service that is the one thing you should understand i we going just because you are seeing some people on the instagram they are very famous they are garnering millions of uh, followers because that one day that's going to stop right and civil servants you're not supposed to uh, you're supposed to be anonymous that's one prior uh, thing about so are we able to do that that's the one thing we should be asked so most of the people they get persuaded by the royal entry views like right? <laughs> all of us like this one that we should that is the one thing to be so be very clear why you want to join civil services yeah. for that matter any services because uh, That is not going to last for like you know, for a very long time. What lasts for you that satisfaction you get out of your job. Okay. So one thing you get very clear about. Uh, so when we start, and when you are very clear why you want to join civil services. So after that comes the how should I start my preparation? Then like what I should follow, what I should not do. So during civil services preparation, it is very important that you know what not to do rather than what to do. because everybody there will be bunch of videos uh, they will be telling you how to crack the exams without study i believe they should be taking just blindly taking so stay away from those kind of videos and you know we live in a very good era where the information getting information is not difficult so entire books you can get on telegram i i don't say they are ethical or unethical but that's the way for the people who cannot afford it and yes there are people who cannot afford it uh yes. see, once i was talking to my colleague and she was saying ki so we had a discussion so so i told there are people who cannot afford even 10 rupees newspaper yes. and that's the reality yes. if i have a choice between uh, buying bread and buying a newspaper i will always uh, go with the yes cuz mahatma gandhi ji once said that there are people so hungry in this country that god cannot appear to them except in the form of a bread so that is the kind of hunger we have It's okay and that's everywhere okay what is going on yeah 
so yes so for so as to clear that you can have the books also and the thing is that notes notes are also very much available everywhere so the question comes to us what we should read what we should not read we should be very clear we should not be running behind the sources we limit your resources to fixed number of books and fixed number of notes that's all and the newspaper it's some people ask it's a very pertinent question that whether we should read newspapers or not padhne chahiye ki nahi padhne chahiye agar nahi padhte to kya hum crack kar sakte hain kar sakte hain aise baat nahi hai ki nahi kar sakte aisa kuch bhi nahi hai ki jo ha sirf ek hi cheez hai ki padhai karna hai aur acche se ye karke aana hai nahi to aisa nahi ki ye bhi nahi puch sakte ki main pariksha nahi deta hu fir bhi jata hu kya matlab baat kar sakta hu kya this should not be question until unless there is no fixed strategy ki ye nahi karenge to hoga kya hoga sab kuch hoga but it will be like it will add value to your preparation matlab news papers mein as i already quoted ki some anecdotes are there they are very unique ki matlab jo writer likhta hai usko pata hota hai usne kahin se ye jab wo koi column likhta hai to it's not like that it's penning his thoughts only his or her thoughts only he has or he or she who is writing the column has done extensive research us pe pehle kuch likha ja chuka hai kya kahin se kuch international mein kya contemporary developments hain all these things have been researched by the person so that uh, uh, adds value to your preparation to wo aap ye kar sakte hain newspaper uske liye padhna hai aur aapka jo answer writing ka ye hai so i believe everybody is familiar with the the exam structure right yes. Yes. prelims is qualifying in nature mains is like your actually deciding because it's 17 50 marks it makes a lot of difference so and the interview is once uh, 275 marks so that also makes a difference but this 70 50 marks makes a huge difference so so while writing answers there are certain things which you must be knowing so first thing is your basic has to be very 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 clear because nowadays the questions are not directly writing that uh, they are not directly asking ki describe the pathophysiology of this particular thing or physiology of mountain so this thing then those components will be there more mostly in prelims but these components will be there but there will be questions which will test your basic uh, knowledge whether do you have a basic knowledge or not S- suppose this 2022 uh, mains there was a question like uh, how do you differentiate between the presidential elections in india and uh, france so there is a one simple thing that they are there they have a semi presidential system so they will not ask the same question again but they'll ask a similar question there are certain things like semi presidential democracy in like sri lanka also they have a semi presidential form of democracy so these are the things which you you should be looking for comparative studies okay so one your basic has to be very clear and the second thing is that uh, you have you should have a fodder material like exam mein bhi likhna to 150 words hai theek hai 150 words mein every concept you cannot elaborate in 150 words right so you have to have some fodder material to fodder material mein kya hai some basic tag lines some basic sentences you can form your own sentences but some sentences add value to your this thing suppose i wrote one shloka that will differentiate your answer from others right so the shlokas that you can pick up from the newspaper or from the google certain uh, anecdotes as i told you some small stories they can also especially especially in essays they make a lot of difference again some quotes like some quotes are very famous It's people will be using those quotes again and again but there are very few or very like very few quality quotes you can uh, search from google itself like oscar wilde and other uh, nelson mandela these are the authors i mean these are the great personalities from where you can pick up the quotes in the google so make sure that you have a uh, compilation of this quotes but i made it's uh, whenever any uh, quote is there i found it useful that i can remember because i have to remember it and write it in the exam so that you make a separate notebook out of it or in your mobile if you have one note app or any uh, in that also you can note and keep an adding on it okay because once you read that is not the end of story you have to reproduce it so you must be able to compile it somewhere and your compilation is unique if you make unique compilation that will make a different mark on it 
Okay. And this fodder material, like certain uh, points which are common to every, suppose uh, women issues are there, children issues are there, so the patriarchal mindset, the poverty element, these are some uh, common things which you have to have a platform at. Under one platform you can use it, like social issues. Okay. These are the social issues. So, uh, why we are facing ignorance in digital literacy? Why this scheme is not getting used or successful? So, these are the some important points you should be able to introduce. And there is one garnishing. Suppose you are served plate, so served one dish without any garnishing, and one dish which is served with garnishing. Mm -hmm. So, the dish which is served with garnishing, poa khate to poa hi khane na. Usme wo jo kopre ka ye laga hota hai, wo to humko khane nahi aaye hamlo. But that adds value to your preparation. So, wo usi ka uska role wahi hai. So, wo apka unique hona chahiye. Because material will be same. Lakshmi Kant will be read by some all the people. So, ye hai. Ye apka answer writing mein hai. Or Mostly, in the market, there is a chance to answer the first day, first day, first day, first day, first day. Answer writing is important, but it is not that that our answer writing is how we read the newspaper, and there is a question that comes from the morning, and we sit in the night, and we sit in the night, and we sit in the night, and we sit in the night. Then, we can't solve the purpose. So, if you are giving any mock test, if you are giving any test, the purpose of our purpose is to know what is the purpose of why I am writing the test. One purpose is being familiar with the condition. What we have to face in the exam. That is one. And how we can reproduce it in the examination. That is also important. And the third thing is time management. The role of time management is very high. Like we play tend to undermine means that this is what happens. If you see the structure of it, first day you are having essay paper. Second day may like nine to twelve is the paper. So next day again nine to twelve and two to five. And the third day it is again nine to twelve and two to five. So believe me, the last paper you are writing for the ethics, it is a lengthy paper also, and your hands are already given away. Like you are writing so much, like one uh, you are constantly writing for five days, and that's the biggest challenge. So people, I mean, I personally believe that if you are writing any mock, you write it like this only. 9 to 12 in that particular period of time so this is my suggestion basically I got a particular topic of notes to me how do you convert the three or four words to me the notes part now see there are one thing you have to see that if you don't have the fodder material you don't have the fodder material just keywords ok Suppose uh, the pardoning power of president is there. So there is one particular art article to it, and that you have to mention article this thing and the pardoning power. Remission is this. And you have to just uh, learn the keywords. Remission is so what is the definition of keywords. You don't have to write it, otherwise, you will not be able to uh, read again and again. So these keywords you have to read again and again. And if you are, see, is the first thing up and tag it, okay, first. हम लोग पहले ही देखते हैं कुछ मटेरियल और हम लोग उससे नोट्स बनाने जाते हैं। तो आफ्टर पर्टिकुलर टाइम इट हैपेंस कि जहां हमको एक घंटे में पढ़ना था, वे एंड ऑफ स्पेंडिंग सिक्स टू सेवेन आवर्स। और वो नहीं होता है। तो नोट्स बनाना मतलब ये नहीं है कि मैं एक दिन में सीख जाऊंगा। तो माय फर्स्ट कि फर्स्ट रीड हो जाता है तो सेकंड रीड के बारे में हम लोग पता चल जाता है कि ओके आई रीड दिस तो मुझे ये मैं लिख सकता हूँ ये लिख सकती हूँ तो मुझे उसको अंडरलाइन करने की जरूरत नहीं है एनीथिंग स्पेसिफिक यू हैव टू अंडरलाइन और फिर थर्ड आप जब रीड करते हो तो उसमें हम लोग को लगता है कि नहीं अभी मुझे यही देखना है बस बिफोर गोइंग लाइक बिफोर गोइंग टू द एग्जाम आई रीड दिस ओनली एनालिसिस तो यू शुड बी वेरी क्लियर अबाउट इट शुड बी इन योर माइंड वो एनालिसिस लिखना नहीं है वहाँ पर Whatever, suppose there are 10 recommendations of any committee. Haan, one more thing about this is when you are writing any answer, if there are recommendations, we are not in the position that we can do recommendations. We can do it, but it may not be practical at this point of juncture. So, any committees already suggested any reforms or any recommendations, so we have to write that. The committee's name is already. So, this is also necessary. Especially in economics, agriculture. 
इसमें ज़्यादा और पेपर टू में गवर्नर से माई नेम इज यासिन पुरा एंड मई फर्स्ट इयर बी कंप्यूटर इंजीनियर माई क्वेश्चन इज एज यू टोल द डबल ओ डबल ई टेक्निक तेरा एज यू टोल वन सेवन फाइव जीरो मार्क्स टोटल फॉर मेन्स So double double e covers four papers. So the other three papers, can you put some light on the subject? Uh, see, uh, that is GS one paper, GS two, GS three papers. GS one comprises of uh, history, your modern Indian history, art and architecture, art and culture, then uh, geography, physical uh, geography as well as world geography. Uh, then you have society portion in it. So these are the paper one country. GS two is having. Quality, governance, these are the two major pillars of this, and there is one component of international relationship also. GS3 consists of uh, economics, major chunk of it. Uh, then the environment and ecology. Then you have uh, internal security and science and technology. These are the things. The thing about uh, GS1 and GS3, these are very very lengthy papers. Very lengthy papers in the sense they have. Lot of uh, subheading in there. History itself is a very big. Geography itself is a very big. And your society is a very big. And the paper GS3 is like economics itself is a so big. Then you have to add uh, environment, ecology, and science and technology. So, so there you can make a crisp notes if it's possible. And the very first go, don't try making notes because that doesn't make any sense. Tend to take a lot of time. If there are some ready-made notes available. It doesn't. But one thing you should always remember that reading notes should not substitute your reading standard books. Notes का purpose ये नहीं है कि आपको it's not a substitute. It's just to help you revise. ये एक बात clear होनी चाहिए. Any notes और हम लोग ये बोलते हैं कि यार इसके ये topper है इसके notes पढ़ लें. तो वो पढ़ने से आपको you will not get the hang of the subject itself. हाँ वो revision में आपको बहुत help करेगा. But notes cannot substitute. ये बात हमेशा लाइफ में। And I am pursuing S5. I want to ask that it is said that uh, civil service examination need constant and sustained hard work. So how did you keep yourself motivated? See that uh, motivation has to come from within. If you are not self motivated, that I am going to do it for myself. That you must have a purpose in mind, right? Why you want to join civil service? Right. So that purpose itself should be so strong that you do not need uh, external motivation. But that's thing to say. We tend to feel low, as I said, because the examination itself is a one year long, and uh, many times in the first attempt we do not get it, second attempt, third attempt. Uh, the thing is that uh, these are temporary roadblocks that should not be able to dissuade you from your goal. Uh, if anything comes. Like your result comes, it should not be certain you that no, I did not clear it, and uh, my friends have cleared it. Maybe I am not made for it. That itself is a farce. It's not that civil service is made for anyone, or it's not made for others. Okay. So make sure that these things that we don't uh, tend to give much attention, like motivation. Uh, no. But there are things. There are times when you feel very low. We can watch some YouTube, YouTube videos. They are very good YouTube videos. You can find out your own test. You can uh, just listen to like five ten minutes in the poem. Like uh, Ramadhar is singing Dinkar. They are good uh, poems are there. Then Amitabh Bachchan's one good poem is there. Like from uh, Kaptak Nishpar over there. You can just uh, all of you can just uh, go through the YouTube and just. Search for this poem. It's very nice, and the way he uh, energizes you, it's also a good thing. There are some motivation channels you can uh, like, but it should not happen that you are spending time on motivation. <laughs> that ये इतना motivation हो गया कि नहीं पढूंगी तो भी मैं ठीक होता है ज़्यादा motivation. But yes, you can. And one more thing, I would like to tell you all that uh, all develop one good hobby, hobby at least. Like some people have a good hobby of uh, writing poems. Yeah. So maintain that hobby. It's it's a good knowledge for you. And 
And all of you just have that this develop this habit. It's very very you know crucial to have the personality aspect in our life because uh, civil services. I, I don't know how many of you have uh, read the statistics. It's ten lakh people uh, fill the forms, five to six lakhs, about five to six lakhs appear for it, and claims uh, cleared by about ten thousand. So. Take it as a journey. It's not like that. I I wish that everybody in second year becomes civil servant or achieve the pinnacle of success in your whatever stream you do. That's the one aspect we should have because you have a hobby and this like this yes, I say we develop good relationships. That is one thing we should be looking forward to. It. That helps your personality and in general you have to develop the thinking. Another thing I would like to. Uh, So this is a big brother who say, can say that like, uh, you know, have an informed opinion about something. Like we read something in the newspaper, and how many of us are think that uh, whatever is in the newspaper is true, hundred percent? Like the bigger kids, we used to think that okay, but it's, it's in the paper, so it must be. True. So good thing that the now the perception has been changed. Everything is part of uh, right to freedom of. Speech and expression, right? Yes. So yes. It's the way they express it, but uh, this one thing uh, everybody should have learned that have informed opinion. You gather the information from other various sources and just try to have your own opinion. And one another thing we have this reservation about uh, speaking. So everybody, I think, when I was uh, in my profession, I was also, like we didn't have to speak much. Yeah, but uh, still, yeah. so we have the reservation. We should all overcome with that. Every so, everybody should read national newspapers. Read anybody of your choice. But uh, the Hindu, the, uh, the Indian Express, they are good in the sense the language is very good. One more question. Yeah. You are an IAS officer. You have faced many challenges. Have you faced any political pressure in those challenges? Have you faced any political pressure? So political pressure is part and parcel of uh, job. So nowadays, even in private affairs, uh, you be polite and always know your rules. That's the your core sense. Like uh, when you are uh, in charge of anything or you are in any service, uh, you are bound by rules. You are not bound by person. You are not bound by personality. You are bound by rules. If you know your uh, rules are strong, so then you can tackle. But be polite always. Because they have mandate from people. Uh, see, like you have cracked an examination and you uh, become someone. They also have a mandate from people. Like we are MP, you have the government, the support of lakhs of people. They represent 18 lakhs people. On an average, MP represents 16 to 18 lakhs people. That's the statistics. In some districts, in some places, they represent more than that, but they represent 16 lakhs people. When MLA represents a significant amount of people, so they have a people's representation. 
some particular patient is bound to happen and that gives them, it's their mandate. They have to cater to the needs of people and also to the political part. But our mandate is clear. We are to serve the constitution of India, right? That's our only motive. They are there to serve the constitution of India and the people at large within the framework of rules and regulations. That is the question. Sir, we are all in the same way. 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 Actually, the motivation for the journey is very hard. जर्नी में देखा है सर, हिरे सर, राहुल सर, मैडम। सर वन में एक्चुअली द टेम्पो वाज मेंटेड कि दे एक कंसिस्टेंसी दे हार्ड वर्क करता था कि तो काली नहीं होता है समझे फोकस विथ अवर गोल तो जब दे वाला करंस एकेडमी सुपर नाइन टीचर अमस्तम खूब मूल्य से मार्ग दर्शन लाभ लो। आई एम रियली थैंकफुल टू � I can think of uh, joining the services and the say, join the Malakaras to the Bangladeshian level and the support system is very important. Like, during this journey, the uh, so mentor, uh, hybrid mentors also, so they have been that part and I really thank you to them. Thank you so much, sir. Sir, the question is that optional two subjects, two papers. So, the two subjects are the same, right? The subject is the same, but the papers have different syllabus. So, for public administration, I can speak of this. Paper one is more general explanation and second paper is Indian administration and especially to the Indian administration. Okay. Sir, can you give one more example about different subjects? As you told, paper one, अलग रहेगा पेपर तो सिलेबस अलग रहेगा सब्जेक्ट सेम तो ऐसा क्या डिफरेंस है सब्जेक्ट सेम और सिलेबस अलग सिर्फ सब्जेक्ट इस सब्जेक्ट इस ब्रॉडर कैटेगरी में सपोज इट इस हिस्ट्री सो इन हिस्ट्री इट्स लाइक मॉडर्न हिस्ट्री मॉडर्न हिस्ट्री जनरली स्टार्ट्स अबाउट आफ्टर सेवेंटी फिफ्टीज uh, if you talk about history, then this modern history, and then ancient from the like in the time of arrival of uh, so Arabs, and from Arabs to this, uh, so these are the uh, in a broad framework of the history. These are the three ancient, middle, and uh, modern history. So if we talk about the public administration as optional, the paper one is more about the general outline of a subject. For example, if you are studying a new discipline or new subject, so the nature of the subject, like how the public administration is there. What exactly is the subject? So, so whenever a subject is there, there are thinkers. Like subject or discipline is made by the thinkers, which have put forward different theories. The Mera is Shemekya Kena, we all are studying Kya Rega, we research methodology will be made. What is the basis of Kya Rega? So, that is the general idea of this thing. And again, financial administration. So, general, generalistic nature is correct that paper was settled. A paper to me, which is very specific. How those principles or those ideas ideas are applicable in terms of Indian administration? So that is about paper. Thank you, sir. Sir, just a UPSC budget. You mean Sangeet Lam Ji, MPSC ji, pan mula bus le liya hai. Tab na fir thoda far kahi tari suggestion dum zake abhyas ka sagara. Sir, I was na MPSC baabat mala ek sangeet sir. Samjhe ki. अपने कड़े एक दिन लच दारना स्थित किया पर ना ता यूपी सिचा मुझे भी एक यूट्यूब पर वीडियो को देखो एक यूट्यूब लेके चैनल साथ आते हैं मुझे सांगीतो तन्नी की आता मैं यूपी सिचा ऐसा सुबह कंपेट करना रखा अनेक अपने इतना बड़ा तो एक तीन कुछ तो बिल्कुल कारण ताबे ची कि यूपी सिचा सि� so what will you look for in the company? If you want to hire them, you will be able to hire them. You will look for the best, right? Yes. We want the best. Yes. Right? So this is government working. So government needs the best of the minds. And what differentiates government from private is job security. There are a lot of... One thing is job security and second thing is impact you can make is much larger. Suppose they had a... Maharashtra is fairly good enough in 
टैकलिंग करप्शन जे आपल्याकडे करप एवढं करप्शन नाही आहे देर आर सम स्टेट्स दिस आर लाईक म्हणजे लोकांकडे बंगलेत राहायला आणि काही लोकांना म्हणजे असं जनरेशन आर बीन नॉट बीन एबल टू फील दमसे ही एक परिस्थिती बरेचशी आहे त्याच्यामुळे ना आणि महाराष्ट्राचं एन्व्हरॉन्मेंट इज व्हेरी गुड टू म्हणजे आपल्याकडे आत्तापर्यंत तरी जे सिव्हिल सर्व्हंट्स ना किंवा जे अधिकारी असतात त्यांना बऱ्यापैकी मान भेटतो आणि आपण बऱ्यापैकी चांगलं काम करू शकतो पीपल आर डाईंग टू सर्व्ह इन दिस स्टेट इट्स व्हेरी गुड इकोसिस्टम आणि सेकंड थिंग म्हणजे ज्याच्याकडे मला असं वाटतं की त्याला एम पी एस सी प्लस यू पी एस सी करायचं असेल त्याच्यासाठी तर आता हा बेस्ट प्लॅटफॉर्म आहे यू डोंट हॅव टू स्टडी सेपरेटली सिलेबस ऑलमोस्ट ओव्हरलॅपिंग आहे आणि कुठल्याही आपण कॉम्पिटेटिव्ह एक्झामची तयारी करत असतो ना की आपल्याला त्या माइंडसेटने कधीच बघायचं नाही की अरे यांनी चेंज केलं मग काय होणार आमचं जे तुमचं होणार तेच बाकीच्या जेवढे अप्लाय करणार त्यांचं होणार वी हॅव टू गेट अडॉप्टेड आणि माणसाची म्हणजे ह्युमन बिंग्सची एक टेंडन्सी आहे एक रेने डेस्ट आर्टिस्ट म्हणून थिंक करतो इज टू से की टॉगिटो एरगो सम आय एम बिकॉज आय थिंक देर फोर आय एम म्हणजे माणसाचं विशिष्ट हे आहे की मी विचार करतो म्हणून मी माणूस आहे मी माणूस आहे म्हणून मी विचार करायला नको आहे तर मी विचार करतो म्हणून मी माणूस आहे ठीक आहे त्याच्यामुळे आपली विचारसरणी एकत्र ठेवायला पाहिजे की वी शुड बी सुटेबल जे अडॉप्टेशन हे महत्वाचं आहे आता बघा म्हणजे आता एक्झाममध्ये हे चेंजेस आलेले आहेत किंवा प्रपोज चेंजेस आहेत उद्या अजून पण काही चेंजेस येतील तर आपल्याला त्याच्याशी घाबरून जायला नको आहे ठीक आहे जेवढ्या लवकर आपण अडॉप्ट करू ना तुम्हाला ते फर्स्ट मोर ऍडव्हान्टेज राहणार म्हणजे आपण ते माइंडसेट मध्ये की नाही आता नाही करणार ते नंतर करतील चेंजेस करतील बट चेंजेस इनोवेटेबल त्यामुळे आपण चेंजला जेवढं लवकर अडॉप्ट करू तेवढं आपल्याला फर्स्ट मोर ऍडव्हान्टेज असणार आणि प्रिपरेशन करताना डोंट डिफरेन्शिएट बिटवीन हे की टार्गेट तुमचं सेट ठेवा आणि टार्गेटच्या ह्याच्याने प्रयत्न करा आणि एम पी सी लाईक ते चांगले एज लिमिट पण थर्टी एट पर्यंत आणि ते फाल सोप मध्ये नाही राहायचं कदाचित पुढच्या वर्षी पण लागू करते मला माहिती नाही ते करणार की नाही करणार तुम्ही कोणालाच माहिती असणार नाही ते तर इट्स अ डिसिजन आफ्टर ऑल कॅन चेंज बट बी प्रिपेअर्ड मी जर प्रिपेअर्ड राहिलो तर आय गेट ऍडव्हान्टेज सिम्पल आणि हे दॅट विल बी मोर ऑफ हे जे आता असं म्हणायला योग्य नाही होणार पण ते जे रट्टा मारून हे करता येतं ते तुम्हाला मेन्स मध्ये रायटिंग स्किल मध्ये तुम्हाला तेवढं हे नाही राहणार तर ते दॅट इज गुड ऍडव्हान्टेज जे जास्त मेहनत करतील त्यांचं थोडस आपल्या क्षमता जास्त असेल अनालिसिस चांगलं असेल त्यांना ते ऍडव्हान्टेज होईल आणि जो लवकर करेल त्याला भेटणार कॉम्पिटिशन Good evening, sir. My name is Sanjana Mukundovar. I am from SMDT College. Uh, Jai Hind once again, sir. Uh, my question is that a society is crab-minded. That we have to say 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 that. टेंडन्सी सगळीकडे प्रिलिम्स तर रिझल्ट जास्त बाकी कधी नाही विचारणार तर रिझल्ट आला विचारणार अरे द्या हवा तेरा हवा की नाही तू दे राहता ना नाही हो गया तर बोल देणे की अरे यार तू तुम्हाला कलेक्टर बनतेट इज स्टील देअर बट डोंट गेट डिस फर्स्ट थिंग की रिझन सेंग की मेक एफर्ट्स इन टार्क सुद्धा की सक्सेस मेक्स नॉलेज म्हणजे लोकांना सांगून करण्याची गरज नाही आपण आपलं करण्यासाठी मी डोंट थिंक अबाउट पीपल दॅट्स ऑल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गो अड डोंट थिंक अबाउट पीपल इज नॉट इन अगेटिव्ह सेन्स म्हणजे आपल्याला विचार करायलाच पाहिजे बट लोक काय म्हणतील हे पण मीच विचार करणार तर त्यांना काय यू हॅव बेटर थिंग्स टू मीस आणि मी युनिव्हर्स एक सिरीज बघितली होती ती अन अकॅडमी तर्फे होती ज्याच्यामध्ये ऍस्पिरेट राहील ज्याच्यामध्ये खूप त्यांनी प्रयत्न केले काय काही मुलांचे वय पण हातातून निघून जातात आम्ही तर मुली आम्हाला तर मुलांकडे कोणी बोलायच्या पण काळात टाकेल आता लग्न झाल्यानंतर तुम्हाला तुमची दोन मुलं आहेत तुमची वाईफ ती त्यांना सांभाळते तर मग तुम्ही ऍज अ वुमन इथे असता आणि तुमच्या जागेवर तुमची बायको तर एक आय ए एस ऑफिसर असती तर मग तुम्हीच तेवढं तिला तिला असतं का जसं आपल्याला मुलांना कसं फुल फिडिंग फेकतं घरातल्यांकडून त्यांना घरातली काम नाही करावी लागतात आम्हाला करून यावं लागतं भावांना सांभाळावं लागतं सगळं करावं लागतं 
extremely well in the field of uh, women empowerment. Now the landscape is changing. The Supreme Court has said different guidelines given uh, various uh, judgment to. You know, earlier uh, women had a ceiling. He yachan tak to me yachamade yu shakti. But now the last last year I guess 2021 first time women had taken NDA examination. So, yes. But things are improving, right? Yes. We are living in the golden age. We are witnessing good things. And it should be our uh, motivation or it should be our inspiration that we should be the one who is starting something. Right? And I think uh, this one, uh, 2018 IS uh, Anu Kumari, thank you. She is also having one with the friendship right here. And Shristi Tej Pante, she is the one. First or third or rank. Fifth. Sorry, I have to rank the test rating. Uh, and she will uh, give the exam in the uh, same field like you are saying. She, she is a doctor or engineer? No, she is an engineer. Oh, she is an engineer. So nothing is limiting you. Uh, I have challenges, I have. there are challenges. But if you win over the challenges, no, the journey is worth it. And that is the journey we are looking for, it, right? Yeah. Ours are the not questions. Ki, there are people, you mind it. There are people who still find, uh, fight for two square meals a day. Don't get it. Our questions are not that difficult. Mm -hmm. If they can fight their hunger also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any more questions, guys? Okay. So I would like to give a vote of thanks. Any questions? All right. I would like to thank uh, Dr. Pawar Chirkar uh, for uh, taking his time and giving motivational information to all our students of IBOP Academy. And I would like to thank you guys also to bring up all the questions and important points in the UPSC preparation. Thanks a lot. talking about cons every time. Hamesha, all the benefits and benefits of IAS. benefits benefits There are no cons that is the reason the most of uh, most of the people think and most of the people join. But uh, with the time coming, those benefits and paraphernalia also said it will get diluted. It will not get paraphernalia as all the doctors and cars. That is not the one thing which you should be looking for. One thing you are uh, you are in the position where you can make a difference. That itself is a greatest honor when you are serving the name of nation in a different capacity. Not everybody can go and fight on the border, but this is the one thing where you can you know, actually create a difference. Uh, like I told you that example of, in Maharashtra itself, uh, sorry, in Chattisgarh, I believe, there are people, like, ambulance hoti hai, mahar liye to normal cheez hai, ambulance hati hai, call karo, nahi aate to, gari maate to, nahi aate to. But there are uh, places where even uh, you cannot walk, and there the people are serving and there you can make a difference, you can make good infrastructure, you can actually come into the cause and do something, a larger scale. And thanks they give, it's like, there's no, no, no amount of happiness, nothing can give you that sort of happiness. Like when I was a doctor, when, like, I remember, it's my personal thing, I take pride when I say this, I gave a CPR for 35 minutes to a patient. The, the moment uh, patients uh, revive, it was the joyful moment. I cannot, that happiness cannot be compared with anything. Nothing. So, be in the services for the right cause. If you are there in the service for the right cause, then there is no obstacles. No obstacles. And how is your life in uh, the past now? <laughs> yes, uh, actually, I am uh, was self tourism is so now I am at Delhi. My foundation course is pending. I will go there after my training, so after the training. Okay. okay, all the best for your journey and thank, thank you, you for coming here. Look forward for the people.
come in the services for the right cause. There are enough, you know, like, hum log bahar jate hai na, hum log dekhte hai ki yaar, ye aisa kyun nahi hai. So when we have a tendency to blame, yaar, BM se kaam nahi kar diya, ye aisa kar diya, wo aisa kar diya. But do we have that in ourselves, that we can be in the position and can create a change? So that is the one thing we should be looking for. If that is your motivation, then sky is moving with you. We have a lot of things to do. And now we are at such a phase that uh, like even at global uh, arena, the voices of India and Sarah Hall, like all the top CEOs, most of the top CEOs are from India, right? Global CEO, yes. Sundar Pichai, yes. uh, Satya Nadella, Microsoft. So all those big shots are Indians. And you get, like, if you are in the service, you get to, to create a lot of issues. So before two years, uh, my father was insisting me to do this. नहीं चलो फेम है सब कुछ है बट क्यों करना है स्कूल में अच्छी बात तो ये स्टेट स्कूल इस गोइंग टू बी फेडेड बट एक मेरे साथ एक ऐसा सीन हुआ ऐसा प्रॉब्लम हुआ था कि आई मेरे बैंक में से पैसे मतलब लोन के चक्कर में पैसे फोर्टीन थाउजेंड रुपीस कट हो गए थे सो एट डेट डे मैंने ऐसे गूगल पे सर्च किया कि एक दिन so there was lakhs of people who are gone and they say that there are so many problems you have to invest somewhere and suppose you have to send your kids for a higher education and you have to send your kids for a higher education and you have to send your kids for a higher education in a bigger country or a much larger market so you have to spend extra money so if you keep on spending on the committed expenditure there is no space for you space left for you to spend on things which you want to achieve right? So similar thing with defense, like 75% of the defense budget goes into the salaries and pensions. And we are looking at much bigger tricks like China and things like cyber security, space war. These are the emerging domains. The traditional warfare like uh, military fighting with military is not going to be there. Like you should listen to the uh, Ajit Doval sir, he's the national security advisor. Like you should listen to these people if you want to like, you know, why, what is the current scenario. Uh, current and emerging scenarios. So you must listen to this seat. So you will have a broader idea about this. It's not just only about the syllabus or In general also you have to have a deeper yeah. understanding of the subjects. Things go much beyond that. Thank you. Any more questions guys? Okay, so thanks a lot. And we are going to wind up now. Okay, and thank you for uh, giving us the time and I thank Dr. Pawan Kherdar for giving us so much of uh, the information about the UPSC preparation. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, IBM Academy for inviting me here and have a uh, nice chat with them. Minds for really inspired doing services. And I wish all of you all the good luck in that is there for your preparation and I believe that I will see you in the services sooner. Yes. Yes. The right yes. thoughts and the right yes. spirit. <laughs> Thank you all for listening to me very patiently. And I'm not a great orator like uh, this person is. But I try to develop it over a period of time. Thank you all for having me here and uh, listening to me very patiently and asking me the right questions. I hope I was able to solve some of your queries. I don't claim that I saw your all of parents, but I believe I was able to justify your worth of time. Because time is the one thing. If someone asks what is the uh, like most precious summer it is time. Once close, it never comes back. So in your life also, I believe those who are working or those who are uh, like uh, yes, preparing and working. So I believe that try to squeeze time when you are having lunch break or something. Just try to uh, read newspaper on the mobile or try to listen to some good uh, you know, debates on the Samsung TV is good channel. Uh, one thing I would like to, if you have a couple of minutes, 
very good online sources also where you can stick to it. Some good channels are there like World Affairs, it's about contemporary um, contemporary developments in geopolitics, those who are interested in it. Uh, then uh, one more strategy is that sometimes we feel very low and we don't feel like I Sometimes on YouTube there are some uh, like marathon videos are there, like 12 hours economics. In your leisure time you can always listen to it. This is a very good thing. Very, very good revision and you feel that okay, I have read it. I have read it, I have read it. For a revision purpose, it's good. Like when you are feeling low, sometimes you don't want to, you know, just don't want to go into books. So sometimes you can have that. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. 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 And I would like to say thank you for coming to IVOP Academy and giving us uh, an opportunity to highlight your success. Which is nice. Thank you very much for having me here, sir. Okay. Uh, so, Dr. Pawan Khirkar, how was your journey uh, when it comes to the UPSC preparation? So, the journey start, we started from the COVID-19, just after the COVID-19 when I started preparing for uh, civil services. It was a roller coaster, right? Sometimes very high and sometimes we feel low, but uh, we pretty much managed it with the consistency and hard work. So. I'm sure you have. So, uh, what was your strategy and planning for the preparation? I believe you have c cracked the exam in the first attempt. Yes. So, you have made a strategy. So, my strategy was very uh, sticking to the basic sources. Uh, I try to focus more on the basic resources as well as the basics, the fundamentals were clear and apart from that uh, value addition materials from the, either the notes or from the newspapers. So that was my uh, principal uh, strategy area. I did not refer multiple sources, I stick to the basic resources like quality, Lakshmi uh, Khan, economics, moral sales notes. Uh, so I tried to make it sure that I do not run after the material, but rather focus and multiple revisions of the same material. So that helped me lots. Okay. So, uh, were you preparing for UPSC only, or you were simultaneously going for MPSC and UPSC both? Uh, sir, I prepared only for UPSC. Okay. And what were the challenges you faced during the preparation? Because you were working, you said. Yes, sir. And you were married also when you started your preparation. Yes, sir. I was uh, working. Uh, I was a nodal person for COVID-19 in my hospital. That's a municipal corporation of Greater Mumbai itself. And also I'm uh, married with uh, family and I'm having two kids. So I believe they provided me a very much needed support during my preparation as we tend to wear out during the special during the COVID and during the preparation. Uh, but the challenges which I faced mainly was initially deciding optional because optional is the most uh, relevant and most uh, you know important subject when it comes to the written examination and deciding your overall ranking or overall uh, getting into the services. And uh, the second thing is uh, there is a lot of information which is available in the market whether it's there with the advent of social media, uh, with the advent of uh, YouTube and Telegram. There are many resources which are available but uh, I believe in civil services we must realize what is uh, to be uh, done and what is not to be done that is more important. Uh, I believe there the role of mentor comes. And the third thing I would like to highlight the challenge is to fit in your content within the prescribed uh, word limit and the time limit. That is also a big challenge. Okay. So, All right. So, uh, who will you give credit for your success? Uh, so, apart from God, I believe my family, which has been the uh, backbone or the underpinning of my success in the civil services. I would also like to thank uh, IBOP Academy for their uh, timely guidance to my sir, the Ares sir, the Rahul sir, the inter, uh, guidance and team of IBOP also for their uh, consistent support uh, during my preparation. Okay, so uh, about the future aspirants 
Okay, there are so many aspirants uh, for UPSC civil services this year and coming years also. So, what will be your advice and message? So, my advice to future UPSC aspirants would be uh, if you are coming in the service, come for the right motive that is the service to the people because that is the one platform where you can make a lot of difference uh, and if you have one idea, uh, you can change the scenario as the Gandhiji used to say be the change you wish to see in the world you can actually make the difference and come with, come in the service with the right motive and not for the royal entry or any other purpose uh, the second thing is that uh, for the preparation the lows and highs are often will be there do not feel uh, offended or get demotivated uh, by the crap mentality of the people or you know, you might not get success in a day. You not, will not get success uh, exact, uh, like the day you want, but it will come to you sooner or later. But be consistent, uh, do your hard work, and that is what is needed for the this journey. This see, the journey itself is very long. Uh, be patient and be consistent in your efforts. If you can walk, if you cannot run, just walk towards your dream. If you cannot walk, crawl, but do not stop and do consistent efforts to achieve it. Okay. Thanks a lot, Dr. Pawan Khedra, for, for sharing your views. And I wish you all the best for your future. Thank you very much for having me. Yes, thank you very much.